Welcome to the Heartbreak Documentary, and today we are revealing how heartbreaks affect people in relationships. I think things are not working out between you and I. What do you mean they're not working out? You just don't have time for me anymore. Like you it's used to. Murky. I'm in the studio all the time. Yeah, but all the time before you had time. I feel like we tried, it's just not working out. You didn't really. try enough. Like, I mean, I feel like I tried I hard enough. My life, though. I feel like I tried hard enough, though. After the whole drama, and heartbreaks and emotional roller coaster. Today we are watching a lady who's heading to campus at Boston Media House to dump her boyfriend, Zix, as she feels that he does not have time for her. Like, there's no other way I could, like, I'd say it's just feeling sad, like your daddy hurt me. Like we're still together, but your daddy hurt me, so yeah. I don't know how that's going to Um, It's a, an emotional breakdown. Then it becomes to a state of mind because emotions work a lot with your mental being. So you psychologically tell yourself that you might spend the rest of your life with that person because you're emotionally attached to them. And you are in a position where you feel that your emotions are safe with that person. So. Yeah. It's just take the worst one, ne? So basically, <laughs> On my sixth year anniversary, right? I was doing the things with Bay, ne guys? And then like a week later, he's like, yo, I need to go and sort out my issues in Cape Town. You know, dish dish. I'm like, no, go solve for X, right? And then his RFF monies came out. His RFF monies came out. And then a week later, his brother texts me and says, yo, did you hear what happened to your boyfriend? Obviously, I'm thinking Spopile Futi, another million, right? Like other kids would assume. And he's like, no, he just got married. Then he sends, I'm a screenshot. He sends, pick mix. And he's like, yo, it's shy for you, you know? But we move, it's fine, guys. I would go back just to hurt him. I'd go back just to hurt him the way he did but I think I'd be honest with myself because I know that the guy is not into me the way he is with the girl so I think I'd just be I'd know exactly like I just know like hurt him first if I had the chance to I'd hurt him I'd make sure that I paralyze him to the core not because I'm being bitter about it but like I feel like if the roles were res reversed he wouldn't be able to deal with the same atrocities he put me through. I, th I would have taken time to know the person before emotionally investing. To them. Yeah, it does. Because I feel like it affects the relationship like on a different scale. Like, it does. You may think it's hurting you because, hey, it's like your personal problem. Like, it's the relationship, it's relationship problems, but deep down, you know, it's just your own agenda, like inside of your heart. Like, it's not, yeah, it's not relationship problems, it's just your own problems. Why? It does, because the reason why I'm saying that, um, you find people committing suicide because of uh, a girlfriend that's cheating, a boyfriend that's cheating, husband. Now you've heard and seen what these personalities went through in their previous relationships, whether it's your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend. Now, a word of wisdom. Love is a tricky thing. You would think you've found love, but it's just lust and infuation. In other instances, you find a partner who tells you exactly what you want to hear. Love is supposed to feel like an everyday honeymoon. Sometimes a soulmate doesn't have to be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Sometimes a soulmate is a life-long friend that is worth keeping. And this is 
the Heartbreak documentary.